Hello and welcome everybody, this is in Blender. So in this tutorial, I want to show you something that I have recently discovered while I was doing some you know, personal stuff. So how to make water droplets like this in Blender. So this is going to be a quick and easy way to do it. But making it real without losing quality, let's just get right into it. So for this to work, let me just go here and delete these guys. We don't need them, so I'll just show you how to do it. <clears throat> First, let's just go to the front view like this. And now we just want to create one particle. So we just gotta go to the. Yes, let's just create a cube like this. Move it somewhere about here. So control 3 to add the subdivision. Or if you don't have it, just go here and add a subdivision surface modifier. So I'll um, just make it like this. Or 3 if you want more details. but Two also would work. So for this, I'll just use three and apply this. So now, first, you want to make go in isolated. If I go to the front view and go to the edit mode, I get this. So if I enable the proportional editing right here, click the top part and move it like this. Just create water droplets. Go and go to the one side and make it something like this. To make it flat to one side because you know what droplets are flat to one side, or so they say. Just move it like this. And make it somewhat like this. So now you have this. You can just go ahead and go to the view. Boom. This could work. You don't have to be super precise about it. Don't just go ahead and go looking for water droplets. This is just fine for this. You could even go to the top mode like this. Um, so where is our? Let's just go here and go change this to scope mode, and just move some parts out to make the water smooth like this. So now we have this. Boom. Now we just gotta go here to the front view, Shift D and duplicate it like two or three times. But I'll just go right here and do two. But uh, if you're doing this for personal piece and you want it, you know, to look good and stuff, it might be better to do like five or six. Uh, five is good. Five is too five. Like this. Um, good. So now we have these two. So now the question comes: How do you use this as a water droplet? So you just gotta go here, select this part, go to the particles tab, add a new particles like this, and yeah, emitter should do, and go to here. Not emitter, sorry. Go to here. My bad. So now, before you do anything, you wanna assign some kind of you know group vertex group. So you gotta go to the weight paint mode like this. Um, just adjust some weights like this. So go to the weight paint mode. I have already made uh, some weight paints right here. Um. But I'll just use a new one for this one, I guess. So I'll just go to the front view like this. Um, if I go here and disable this, like this. And now if I go back there and go to the white paint mode, if I paint like this by pressing this, this will look like this. But, you know, we want, you know, select some parts and, you know, do this, do that. Uh, doesn't make sense, you know, to do it super precisely. You just gotta go to the edit mode like this. Um, if I like this guy, bam, something like this should do. Bam, goes, go over those parts. Something about this should do. If I hit like this, I don't know why I'm rumbling today, so I'll just go and select this part. Why? Why are we doing this? Okay, yeah. So we have this and we assign it to this. So if I go to the weight paint mode, I see that this part is totally right. So this this will work. So if I go here and add this, go down and in the um vertex groups, go to density and it drops. Now you see we only have drops there. So to make it more, you know, good, just go to faces like this here and choose random 
to get it you know more realistic and here's what the magic happens so render as path you just gotta change this to collection and go to these guys right here select these two M to move them uh, to move them in the new collection and hit new collection and call it crop or something something you could remember um, now if I just go back here select this and render as a collection here and just hit drops now you see everything is super big so go to scale and you know make it very small and just change the number to you know 100 or something to for you know for working with purposes and this is good now if I you see everything is you know super weird right now so you just gotta go advance it and in the rotation tab you just hit rotation and choose novels like this so you could get something that looks like this perfect so if i go to phase and you know move it a little bit like this randomize but not too much so you want your crop it's coming downwards so something like this so you could see what is going on here Perfect. So now we have this. We could just add this to 500 or something, something to look good, but not so much. Um, yeah, so we can work with this. So you see this part. This is because of the weight pain. You could go ahead and you know fix it, but I'm not going to be fixing this now. You just want to know how to do it. So cool. Now select this. Go to the shading mode, and something i have forgotten to tell you is if you select this part and you see everything is super even and stuff you just gotta go here and randomize not that randomize um where is that randomize where um okay come on there is angular not this one uh, i think it's yeah and scale scale randomize you just gotta hit one or you know, make it a little bit bigger than one so you get something like, that looks like this this is more convenient so if i go here close up control b and you know same old stuff you see that these parts are looking good but the shading is off so we just gotta go back and select this part close right here the water droplets the big ones and make this delete this principled nonsense and you gotta add a glass shader like this and the roughness to zero and this 1.33 like this perfect now you want to apply the same part to it i think this is it yeah so now if i go here and voila uh, you see that the water droplets are looking good. What a like, well, so you could use this for anything you want. You could make, you know, sweats on people and stuff, you know. Just enjoy. Send me renders as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do whatever you want with this knowledge. Now, this is yours.